Oh my god. Hello everyone, welcome back to Apollo Justice. Ace Attorney, that's right. Somebody I guess got mad because I said it wrong. But honestly, I think I've said it like five million times already, and I did this with the other ones too. Ace Attorney is in big letters on the cover, so I always say that first because it just seems right. This is Apollo Justice, Ace Attorney. I'm very sorry for your loss. Anyway, uh, we got into the Miraculous Clinic in the last one. We actually got a pass from Emma, and as we were looking around out, out in the other, in like the lobby area, we heard a break in or something like it. Somebody was just in here, and now we're here. So. They're gone now, so I don't know who it was or what they were doing, but it looks like we can just examine every single thing. So let's do that. Books and papers are scattered around the room. Wow, what a mess. This is worse than Daddy's room. The burglar must have left in a hurry. Even the cup on the desk here is lying on its side. Huh? The juice that spilled out of that cup. It's dry. So the messy one wasn't our burglar just now. Someone knocked this cup over a while ago and left it? That's... that's weird. Why would they do that? But anyway, let's look at all this junk. Books and papers... Oh, I'm sorry, it's the exact same thing. Anyway. I thought it would be different. What about this lamp on the floor? Kind of an expensive looking lamp, isn't it? Hey, the bulb's broken. Broken? Don't you mean burned out? No, our cat burglar must have dropped it. But why is it standing up on the floor like that then? Hey, look at the cord! Huh? There's a red splotch on part of the cord. You think that's... blood? It's a little bright for blood, almost pink. Oh no, it's Danganronpa again. <laughs> it's all come back. Something's definitely odd about this lamp, that's for sure. Oh, we got the lamp. Alright. Uh, maybe we should look at that now before I forget, because it seems like there's something you probably want to look at, right? Found in the Miraculous Clinic office with a broken bulb and a red stain on the cord. Let's look at it. Um, oh, we might have to zoom. Here it is, right down here. Hey, what is... Hello? Oh, what is that? This cord runs to the lamp. It has a red stain on it. Hmm. Gotta wonder what was left. Oh, sorry, what left that stain? No, all I can think about is Dang and Rampa <laughs> and the red marks, which was the Monokuma bomb. It better not be that. Wait, I know. Maybe it was left there by a red marker. Like they were trying to write their name and slipped. Why would anyone write their name on a lamp cord? I used to write my name on my magic rope. Oh. Anything else about this? Uh. Oh, yeah, the, um. Oh, the bulb is broken. Look. The bulb is broken, it won't turn on. Oh, how is it broken? Don't touch that, you'll cut yourself. Ah! Yeah, yeah, fool me once, shame on me, fool me twice. My finger! You're bleeding, let me see it. Wait. Magic blood, haha, <laughs> gotcha. Aw oh, man, Trucy, don't do that. Don't, don't take advantage of Apollo's nice nature. Please don't do that again. I have enough to worry about without my co-workers injuring themselves on the evidence. You're not wrong. Is that everything about this? Looks like... Alright. Weird. Uh, what else in here, I wonder? Let's take a look. Well, obviously there's like a safe right here. Let's look at that. What a cute little safe. Hmm. Looks like a four-digit lock. Oh. Oh, hello? Whoa. Someone's already entered in two numbers, Apollo. Maybe that's what they were doing when we broke in. Seven, nine... Wait, do you think? That burglar just now is trying to open it. I wonder what's inside the safe. Hmm, is there any way we can figure out the last two numbers? I mean, we could force it. Well, we know the first two are seven and nine. Maybe there's something in the court record? Let's have a look. Uh... Let's look at everything. Anything with numbers on it. Numbers. Mirror, bowl, <laughs> underwear, cell phone, hmm, oh I know, wait a minute, can we dust for fingerprints where it's been pressed before, will that work? I wonder if it prompts you to do that, something that can help us figure out the last two numbers, hmm, I wonder, um, uh, maybe? Well, I have an idea. 
I knew it, Apollo. What is it? Well, all we have to know is what buttons have been pressed. Okay, yeah, I'm right. We can use this to find out what the next two numbers are. Here we go. You don't have to shout. It's just us here. When you press the buttons, you'd have to touch them. With your finger, right? It would leave a print. When you open a safe, you don't press any other buttons but the right ones, right? So, if we can find the buttons with the fingerprints, we'll have the safe code. Not bad, Apollo. Yeah, I'm pretty good. All right, oh. I guess we're just gonna dust everywhere. All right, do it all. That means the seven and the nine will also come up. But we wanna see what else does too. All right. Oh, sorry. Here we go. Look, you can see the oily finger residue clearly. Oh, wow, okay. So seven, nine, and it looks like two and five. I guess we just have to figure out what order. Look at seven and nine. These are glove marks. The burglar must have been wearing gloves. Well, we might not be able to identify the burglar, but we can open the safe. Let's give it a shot. All right, let's do the obvious thing. Two, five. No. Okay. So seven, nine, five, two. Oh, there it is. Yeah, oh, what's in here? It opened. We are on the case. What is this? That looks weird right there. Excuse me? That looks like a bullet. This looks like a bullet hole. You can still see the bullet sticking out of it. Why is it in the middle of a safe? Hey, the bullet came out. The tip is all squished. Oh. Not surprising, given it was fired into a metal safe. This bullet's got a story behind it, that's for sure. Oh, man. Okay. What's this other stuff in here? This looks like a medical chart. There's an x-ray in here with it. An x-ray? Can't make heads or tails of it. And I can't read the chart either. It's all in medical speak. But the names are easy enough to read. Look, by patient it says Waki Kataki. Oh. So this is Waki, our client's chart, huh? Why would this one chart be here in the safe? Let's see, the physician's signature says Palmaractus. Uh, What is it, Apollo? Look here where it says who filled the chart, or filed it, sorry. Let's see, nurse Alita Tiala. Oh, uh-oh. Oh no. Alita Tiala is Waki's fiance. That's one eat it too many, Apollo -lo, lo lo Never mind that, what's her name doing here? How should I know? Though, I guess it means she's on staff at this clinic. Odd that she neglected to mention this before now. I'm sure she had her reasons. So Alita Tiala worked at the Maractus Clinic? And she had access to Waki Kataki's medical chart? You got the I and Y wrong, Apollo lo lo You can't see that, that's fourth wall breaking. I'd be very interested to find out what this chart says. Who could help us decipher it? Um, Guy. Because he used to be a doctor, right? So surely he could help. Because we talked to him before in the last one and he told us all that stuff. Oh wow, okay, this is getting interesting. What about this cat, this lucky cat? No clues here. What? No, that's definitely a clue. Give me the lucky. Okay, fine. <laughs> Is that really all? Fine. So let's go ahead and get out of here then. Is that everything? What about all this shit? Like, what's this? Whoa, what are those? The wall is covered with beakers. Oh, something's moving inside that one. You look, Apollo. Hey, look yourself. You can't- oh. It's a goldfish. Wow, they're all fish. So many kinds. Whoever designed this had a sick sense of humor. Oh. Well, the fish are okay. Oh no, Charlie, say it ain't so! This potted plant has seen better days. Hmm, that doesn't make sense either. What doesn't? Normally, burglars are looking for valuables, right? That's true. That's what I would do if I was a burglar. So why look under a potted plant? Maybe they were looking for the key to the safe. I've heard of people putting their house keys under plants, but the key to a safe? 
Uh, then maybe the burglar was looking for the house keys. This is getting nowhere fast. I don't know, I think it's fine. All right, fine. So let's go ahead and, well, I guess we could look at the window they went out of. The window is ajar. That must be how our burglar escaped. I wonder who it was. Maybe it was just a burglar who happened to pick here? Yeah, but there's a patrol car sitting out front. If I were a burglar, I'd come back the next day at least. I'd give it a month myself. Whoever broke in obviously needed to break in today. I wonder who it was. All right, well, fine. Let's go ahead and get this chart looked at. And I think I know the guy to help. Uh, I think we looked at everything in here. Well, I hope so. <laughs> Otherwise, we're gonna have to come back. Fine. Uh, oh, hello? You're not here. Where are you? Oh no. Oh wait, hang tight guys. You know what I forgot to do actually? Look at these two things. Found in the Maractus Clinic safe, squished from impact with the back of the safe. Normally in the other games, I didn't even bother doing this, but because we can actually do this to like all the evidence, now I like want to do it before I forget because I know that I'll forget. Maybe I'll miss something important. Wow, it's all mushed. That was one tough safe. You know, it looks kind of yummy. Huh? Like ice cream. Mm-mm, caramel. You certainly have an active imagination, Trucy. Sure does. Um, oh. Wait a minute. Oh, is, is it the same? Damn it. Thought I, thought I had something there. All right, fine. Um, and then the other thing we got was this. Signed by Nurse Alita Tiala. Examination record, Waki Kataki, Powell Maractus, Alita Tiala, 19, bullet lodged in near heart. And there's like an ID number, but I don't know if that means anything. Okay. But Guy isn't here. So where do we go now? Well, I guess let's just go. Uh... Hmm. Where would the people be hanging out? Not in the garage, surely. No, there's nobody in here. Okay. Uh, just Sans. It's fine. He's just hanging out. Fine. Let's go back to the park then, I guess. Maybe Emma can help. Uh... May maybe? Here's hoping. Hello? There you are, dear. I know that face. That's the face of someone who's made a discovery. Yeah, you're damn right, girl. How are you? Hey, how did you know? You can't fool someone trained in the ways of science. Next, she'll have us analyzing face prints. I'm ready. Let's ask Detective Sky to help us, Apollo. All right, let's ask her. Darling, how are you? Uh, all right, let's talk to her about some stuff. Oh, there's nothing to talk about. Maybe we just have to present her something? Fine. Let's, um, what haven't we presented? Let's think about what we have. Um, oh, the slippers. I should probably give her those, too. Let's see if she says anything about this. Detective Sky, I was wondering about this. Oh, Trucy, wait. What? That's vital evidence there. You can't show her that. That's our secret weapon in tomorrow's trial for sure. Oh, clever, Apollo. Oh, I get... Okay. What did I tell you before? If you're going to talk behind someone's back, do it quietly. She doesn't even care. Um, did I want to give her the slippers? Because I know we made the print before and she was like, what the hell are these two? Did I already do this? Ah, oh, the slippers. That's quite a clear print there. A toe print. That's right, because there was like a dirty toe print inside of it. Too bad we don't know whose toe it is. Well, there is a way of finding out, of course. There is? What? All you need is to sample the same toe print off another shoe. Another shoe. You're... You're not telling me. They're hers, aren't they? Like I suspected. The blue ones. Oh, right. So if the prints matched, you'd know the same person wore both. Hmm, do I have another shoe worn by the same person? I think I do. That's too much of a coincidence, right? I think I just might, actually. Really? I'm beginning to suspect something here. Same, and I don't like it. Detective Sky, can you compare this sample with this other print? Uh, these. Yeah, yeah. This pair of sandals, toe print and all. Oh, the print on these is nice and clear too. That makes our job easy. Can you analyze it for us? 
course. Hang on. Do your science. Bingo. Gosh, I'm good. You sure are. Hey, we were the ones who actually found the prints. A perfect match. The same person wore these sandals and slippers. But that slipper print was here. So that means she was here too. I was afraid of that. All you have to do is find out who these sandals belong to. I think we already know. Or do you already know? I can't say. Not yet. Well, that's one big step closer. To the truth. Let's do the truth. Okay, so, but where is she? Like, how do we find her? Where would we go to find her now is the thing. Where haven't we been? I mean, there's obviously some places she's not going to be at, right? Uh... Let's go back here. You got anything? No. Okay, fine. Let's just keep moving. Where haven't we been in a while? Oh, we could ask Phoenix. Let's do that. Phoenix, are you here? Okay, something's happening here. He wasn't here the last time we stopped by. Phoenix, you're all right. Ah, the prodigal attorney returns. Welcome, Apollo. I heard you did well in the trial today. Here to discuss something? I could use a little diversion. What did Detective Sky say? If you want to know something, you have to investigate it yourself. Oh, we're going to ask that now. Mr. Wright, tell me what happened seven years ago, please. I want to know. I need to know. You certainly didn't waste any time getting to the point. Sorry, Phoenix. Hope that's not too bad. Seven years ago, tell me about it. Seven years ago, I was standing in a courtroom on behalf of a client. The case involved the death of a certain magnificent genius. I'd be surprised if you hadn't heard about it. It was all over the news, I remember that. You were up against Prosecutor Gavin, weren't you? Yes, he was only 17 years old at the time. 17 years old? That's still high school. He took the bar exam abroad in Europe. They're progressive over there, you know. I was defeated by a 17-year-old newcomer. In my shame, I left the practice forever. That's all. That's all? How could that be all? What do you mean? What about what they were saying on the news about forged evidence? Oh. They said you forged evidence. You had your attorney's badge stripped from you. Did that happen, Phoenix? Forged evidence. Tell me, how does it feel? How does it feel to stand here before Phoenix Wright, the forging attorney himself? How does it feel? I don't want to believe it's true. But what about what happened in my first trial? Yeah, about that. Didn't you notice in today's trial? There was a single piece of forged evidence. I'm talking about evidence that shouldn't have existed. A naughty magician's trick. <laughs> I don't see you jumping to my defense on this one. Maybe I did forge evidence. Maybe I didn't. It doesn't really matter now, does it? Phoenix! But... I'm not an attorney anymore. That's the only truth you need to know. Mr. Wright! Looks like he doesn't want to talk about the accusations of forgery for now. Oh. Um, can I show him anything, do you reckon? Let's take a look. Hey, would you like to see your daughter's underwear again, though? Oof. And we found these, too! They're trucies. Thanks, Apollo. Though, I have to admit, as a father, I wonder... Why are you still carrying my daughter's panties around in your pocket? Oh. No reason. Hey, I got an old ladies' pair, too. You want to see that? Oh. I don't know. I thought it was good. Uh, is there anything here we want to show them? Hmm... He won't know anything about the shoes. What about the gun? No? Oh, no, he's ignoring me. Okay, fine. We probably... Probably don't have to do anything there. Where? We're running out of places to go. My other thought was to go talk to Waki and see if we can get him to, like, say if these shoes are his girlfriend's or not. Do you think he would do that, though? I guess it's worth a try. I mean, that's, like, the only place we haven't gone. In a while. Oh. All right, what's happening? Hello? Boy, how you doing? You don't cry, Angel. Daddy's back and Daddy's... Oh, you again. Oh, I guess she was just here. Do you always have to announce your entrances like that? 
Yo, man, my old man, he, oh, man. Now I'm all in a funk, and it's his fault? One can only assume that his father tried to teach him a lesson and failed, clearly. Yeah, you two got your work cut out for you straight up. Of course, I don't care if they lock me up. I'm ready to go. Some days I wonder why I do what I do. All right, what is your beef right now? What's happened? Oh, I didn't want to move. What am I doing? I want to talk. You got anything? Guilty verdict. Here we go. Yo, man, you won't see me bugging out about one or two guilty charges. But what if you're found guilty of murder? Hey, it's all experience. You feel me, shorty? Like a badge of honor. They don't give the death penalty, do they? You didn't really do it, did you? Did you? Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. I bet you he's covering. What if he's covering for her? That could be a thing. If I've learned one thing today, it's that silence speaks louder than words. Yeah, you're right, Apollo. Absolutely does. Tell me about your father. Your farger. His farger? What's farger? <laughs> man, my old man is whack. Disappointed, that's what he is. I heard he wants to leave the mob. Yo, over my dead body. I spend my life trying to keep it real and be an OG and never step down. Now my old man wants to go soft? Fine, let him. Just leave me out of it. Oh. The day I get out of the clink? That's the day Alita and I start the next generation of the Kotaki family. Please don't talk as though it's just assumed you're going to jail, for my sake. It seems like he's already ready to go. What the hell's wrong with this dude? Alright, fine. Um, oh, I know! Oh, this'll get him right here. What if we give him this? Yo, bro, I found this! Huh? What at? Some kind of x-ray? Wait. That's right, Waki, it's yours. Yo, look, I don't smoke or nothing. I'll live long, right? I don't think he gets it, Apollo. Uh, take a closer look, here in particular, where it says nurse. It's signed Alita Tiala. Huh, you lawyers do your homework. So, you met Miss Tiala when you- Yeah, I met her at the clinic, so? Could you tell us a bit about the circumstances of your meeting? Yeah, fine, fine. I'll tell you how we met if you want to know that bad. Alright, tell us. I want to hear about this. Waki and Alita. Yo, about half a year ago, I was shot during a little turf war with another family. I was ready to die, sure. But they came in and got me, hauled me off to the docks. The Maractus Clinic. That's where I met her. My fallen angel. You mean Alita Tiala? She was scared of me at first, turns out. But you know what they say? The bad guy always gets the ladies. That is true. Right. She was done with that clinic anyhow. So I was like, yo, I'll take you on, woman. Straight gangster style. Guess what she said? What did she say? Yo, come on, give it some thought. She said it real quiet like on the down low. You know what I'm saying? I'll leave if you'll marry me. So that was the proposal? You know it. An oath of love right there in the hospital room. Oh, that doesn't sound right, does it? Just like that, the OP was done and we was out of there. See you later, bye. Uh, about that OP. Yeah? Didn't go so well after, did it? The op. I'm talking about the operation. I know about the report. I know it's still in me. We gotta get that looked at, boy. This health checkup was the boss's idea, you said? Yeah, can you imagine? What's the point of living healthy when you're a G, you know what I'm saying? But didn't you learn about the bullet at the checkup? Yeah. That's when I knew that doctor had to pay. Figured I could get that cat pulled after I got my revenge. And hey, I'm still living large now, ain't I? Incidentally, have you ever had a health checkup before? Nah, my old man suddenly gets the idea that we all gotta get checkups. Guess he's getting old. Older, I mean. That's a normal thing to do when you get old, though. Alright, so here, here, what about this? What if I give him the shoes? Do you think he'll actually say, or do you think he's just gonna dodge the question? Let's find out. Waki, you don't happen to recognize these, do you? Hey, sure I do! I was the one who bought him for her. Uh-oh, it's just as we feared. Oh, he's so cute. I'm starting to think he's innocent in all this, really. Just a dumb kid. Oh, no. For Miss Tiala? Yeah, a birthday present. She's got mad little feet. Mad, so cute, man. So these sandals are hers. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling. Me too, Apollo. Oh, no. 
Yo, what's up with the funky vibes? Oh, I don't think we can tell him, can we? I don't think so. Oh no. Well, oh, uh, what does this say now, do you think? Let's take a look and see if anything's changed. Alita's sandals, it says now. Present from Waki. Okay. Uh, is that it? Do I need to show him anything else? He's just bouncing. Maybe you shouldn't bounce up and down like that with a bullet in you. Maybe you should stop. Okay. Uh, is there anything else I need to present to him? How about this bullet? You know anything about this? Man, that is so far off the hook, it's off the chain, G. Oh, I guess it's nothing. Wonder how my lead is doing. Man, I miss her. Oh, this kid, I'm starting to feel real bad. Real bad. Oh, no. I mean, this is not- this is not good, is it? Th this is just not good. Alright, fine. Uh... God, where- oh. What haven't we done? We still haven't figured out the- the wording of the chart. Is that gonna be something I can do? Do you think he's back? See, I've gotten- I've got no idea where to go now. Oh, wait, aha! Is he back? Maybe he was just in the bathroom or something. Mr. Aldoon, we've been looking all over for you. What's the matter, Trucy doll? Apollo, show him what we found. Nothing like expert advice. I suppose he is a doctor still. Yeah, surely he'll help us. He said he would help us. Oh, don't cry. Mr. Aldoon, is everything okay? Yeah, I'm just so happy. I just thought my doctor days were gone for good. Mr. Aldoon? No, 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 you're gonna be a big help. Wait, first, does he have anything to talk about? No. Okay, fine, let's just present him what we have then. Help us with this, please. Uh, Mr. Aldoon, take- look at this chart! <laughs> a medical chart? Hey, you shouldn't go around taking these from clinics. Can you help us read it? Why the sudden silence, Mr. Aldoon? What? What's going on here? That's what we want to know. That chart belongs to my client. He's on trial, on suspicion of murder. Yeah, on trial? That's crazy. You can't put him on trial. He's ABD. ABD? All but dead. He's knocking on the pearly gates and someone's about to answer. Can you tell us why? What ha- Is he really in trouble right now? Uh-oh. Oh, wait, oh, oh, what? What? Excuse me? Top 10 anime betrayals. What the fu- Okay. Well, uh, that aside. Well, permit me to speak as a surgeon. You listen up good now, son. No way. It's like he's a completely different person. Okay. Help me, Mr. Rogers. Walkie's chart. Tell me about this. According to the chart, this walkie-kitaki fella is not doing so well. He's got a bullet right upside his heart. That's right. Yeah, but this chart talks about the post-op. In other words, the operation is already finished. But you can still see the bullet stuck in there. Why would it still be in there after the operation to remove it? Well, about the only reason I can think of is it was too tricky to operate on. What? That bullet snug as a bug there next to the aorta which is connected to the heart. Heck, that scrap of metal's just surrounded by blood vessels. Kind of a miracle. Two millimeters to either side and there'd be some serious bleeding going on in there. Not something your average doc be easy to fiddle with. Oh, eager, sorry. You mean? Yo, it took a miracle to get that bullet stuck where it is. It'd take more than a miracle to take it out. It'd take a magician. Oh no. Um, I'm only up to making rabbits disappear. I haven't learned bullets yet. Of course, with the heart pumping and lungs working, that bullet's on the move. I'd give him another half a year at tops. But Walkie's operation was already half a year ago. That's why I'm saying you're out of time. This kid shouldn't be on trial, he should be on an operating table. Great. Just great. Oh no! What are we gonna do? How could Dr. Maractus do such a terrible thing? How could he just leave that bullet in there? I got a pretty good idea how he felt. An emergency operation, he got the kid's chest open on the table. Then he finds that bullet. That's despair right there, Trucy doll. Cold despair. Despair? No, 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 no. Don't let Monokuma into this game. I've got enough trouble with him on the other one. Don't do it. About the only thing he could do is sew the boy back up. 
He wasn't exactly in the situation to go admitting he couldn't take it out. The Kitakis? You bet. This kid's their only son, I hear. So, he skips the operation and walkies back on the street living his life. Of course, it's only a matter of time before his heart hemorrhages and he drops cold. Oh no! Come on, we don't want that to happen to him. How awful! And which doctor would they take him to? Maractus. He's got enough ties to him, he could probably cover up the truth of what happened. That's just horrible! He left Waki to die! There's a darkness in this world, Trucy doll. Waiting. Hungry. This is terrible! It's got so dark so quick! Oh my god, and this music, holy shit. Compared to it, these gangs' turf wars are like kids' games. When you're up against real evil? Well, it don't matter if you're weak or strong. It'll take you all the same. That's awful. Trucy, you're right. You were a surgeon, right, Mr. Eldoon? You could operate on Waki, couldn't you? I wish. What? I'm afraid there ain't nobody in the country that could. Maybe not even in the world. So... So Waki... He's real lucky to be alive even now. No! There's one problem- Oh no, I'm sorry, I'm starting to ship uh, Trucy and Waki together. I think they would look cute. Apollo? This chart? Look at the nurse section. Alita Tiala. That's right! This operation was how they met! Yeah, the problem is, she knew. She knew about Waki's condition guaranteed. <gasps> Why didn't she ever tell him? Uh-oh... It doesn't make sense, but it does, doesn't it? Oh no! If she knew her patient was in serious danger... You'd think she'd want to get that second operation before getting engaged. No, not necessarily. What was she thinking? Apollo! What were you thinking, Alita Tiala? Oh, wait, what, what? Oh! Oh, no, are we going to trial now? Oh, I guess we're going to trial now! Oh, my God! Oh, that little lady's gonna have a lot to answer to. I think this is terrible. I can't believe this. First, I thought it was just silly. And now it's really important, because I do kind of like Waki a little bit. He's growing on me. I don't want to see anything happen to him. Well, in the next one, hopefully I get to question her, because I'm going to do it. Oh, Judge Judy is on my side. I'll see you later, guys.